Yo! Welcome back to another Names Nico video. And today, uh, this is a highly requested video um, that I talk about how I play CQB, what styles I use, tips and tricks, techniques, yada yada, etc, etc. So I thought, fuck it, why not? Do you know what I mean? I've only been taught what's been passed down from me when uh, I was in the army and I went through training and the countless um, CQB train of hard, February, obua, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just passing on that information with a little magic twist of airsoft. Airsoft in its own right is its own sport and there's lots of tricks that you can that, that I have learned just from airsoft. So that's what we're gonna do. But first before we get to that, I need to give a shout out to my boys at GBLS DAS. They have sent me the CQB version of their gun for me to go out on the battlefield and see what I can do with it as it's an absolute monster. So we've just made some alterations to it. We haven't finished yet. There's a couple of bits and bobs hanging off it, which I'll square away. But yeah, we've got the uh, GBLS CQB version by Das. Just a monster in its own right. Can't wait to use this with the Spark AR. Is a sight. Very pretty gun. That, that, okay. Without further ado. Roll the clip. Right, I won't explain yet. This is the start of the video. As you can see, his rounds are going straight past me then, though. Okay, oh, that obviously wasn't a grenade. But that, my friends, is called illusion. Deception. A massive skill to have in airsoft. My little outro, we've all seen this. I don't usually make cheater videos. Players I played against in France were just something else. My kit, guys. So um, I'm just going to talk about my kit right now. What you're looking at here, in in my opinion, um, you know, no messing about. Not there's not things on here that I don't need that are just for looks. It's all for function functionality. It's all stuff that I use. None of none of this kit you see here is on there just because it looks cool, okay? Except for obviously the patch on the helmet and the geezer guys and flashes, which is, you know, the geezer guys which we've been talking about. Right, so obviously you've got your three mags here. These are the main mags that I use first of all. That's like my first point of contact for magazines that go across my chest. And then I'll have I'll have one on my left here, you can see on my battle belt. That's when I actually reload. That's the first magazine that I take. Because it's just it's just all one arm, isn't it? The mag comes out of the gun into the dump pouch, pick up from the battle belt, straight back in, and then I go across the chest, and then to my reserve one under my armpit. Um, you got my pis pistol mags under my left armpit, and this sling I'm using is just a one point sling that comes through the back of uh, my LPC. It's an LPC uh, from Warrior Assault Systems. Uh, brilliant. And the reason why I hope from the left side is, is let's say I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. I drop the gun to the left and pull my pistol out from the right, so it only makes sense to have the gun naturally fall to the left, where I can control it, keep it under control whilst I'm moving about. Okay, guys. Anyway, let's carry on. Wouldn't call their hits. Would know when they got shot just even once to the point where I had to overshoot people so they'd raise their hands. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. It's a bit dramatic, but I've enjoyed right. it anyway. Okay, and we're off. Okay, so you just seen that I switched sh shoulders then. Because I can shoot with my right and my left. Okay, so you're going to see something here, guys. Which is a crucial skill to have. Okay, so I, uh, my, my GoPro turns off for a start, obviously. So that's just fucked. Time my teammate to come closer, yeah. All right. So the reason why I didn't turn my light on then is because I didn't want all of them knowing where I was because I shot one guy. So I left my light off just to shoot until they hear hit, and then I was like, they know I'm here anyway, so I'm gonna light them up with the light, right? But you'll see what's going on here, game guys. is It's a game of angles, right? So I'm like, I've got the advantage. I've got height advantage here, and soon. Well, these guys aren't taking the hits, so it's pretty hard to explain. But you see here, you see, I'm keeping my body out of danger. I keep my body out of danger. You can see this guy's BBs are just flying straight past me. They're not even hitting me, but he thinks he's hitting me. But obviously, he's nowhere near me. Can you see? He's there's no way he's going to hit me because I've got the angle. It's all an angles game, you know. And I'm still taking out his teammates. But then BBs are coming straight past me. Um, now that wasn't slicing the pie. That was just just I had a, I had the angle, you know. But that guy's like, you didn't 
I didn't hit you, but obviously he didn't, because you can see on the screen that he didn't, right? Not hit me. Sometimes when um, I know the 360 battle space I'm in, and when I know it's safe, I'll pull out the mag from the pistol, check how many rounds are in it, put it back in the pistol, cock it, shoot a couple, because the amount of times that, you know, you could be in a situation where you pull out your pistol and the gas is fucked, or, you know, you're actually out, like, so always be on top of your admin, always be on top of your kit. There you go, see, pistol out, see? I'll shoot him, I don't. I'm going to try my best in a minute to explain what slicing the pie is. I'm not very good at explaining things, I'm just going to do it. But I'm going to try my best for you guys. Alright. I can't explain how crucial it is, guys, if you play airsoft. Especially just learning how to shoot with both with both sides of your body, with both shoulders, both arms. And a really a really good way of just changing really quickly is if you've got a grip or whatever, is you flick, you flick the gun forward into the other shoulder and then you, you catch it by this bit of the part of the gun here under the TMH and then you just swap hands so really quickly it's just like that right and that's how you do it and then obviously the better you get the better and better better you get the more smoother and smoother it'll become right so have a go at that because obviously if you shoot right and left handed you'll be able to pie both corners which will give you just a hideous advantage I'll always try my best to not put a lot of rounds into plays that haven't seen me because what's the point they haven't seen you you're not under any initial threat try and conserve your ammunition right Right, right, know what I mean? I thought I was going that window clearly. As I was coming around this corner, I'm not, I don't, under, I don't know if there's enemy there. I don't know if that's a safe battle space, right? So as I'm coming up to the wall, I'm pying around the corner because if someone's there, I've pied and I've come back in. They can't shoot me, I'm safe, right? And that way you can have a one-on-one, -on -one, use different techniques like high-low, whatever, right? So as you see, I was pying around the corner to then go down the stairs is a little technique. And you should do that everywhere, wherever you are. There you go, a little switch of shoulders there because so I've switch, switched shoulders because now the threat is on the left side. All the right side of my body here is safe and the threat is on the left side, right? So I've gone from right-handed shooting to left-handed shooting where I have the advantage. My body is on the safe side of cover and where I'm aiming, there's the threat, right? And this is why pistols are crucial as well. How hard would that be with a rifle trying to get that over there, over that wall? Okay, this is another little thing you can do, guys. If you haven't got the equipment, make the equipment. So here, this is just a random thing that looks like a ball. I don't know what material was used to make that, right? But I, that guy wasn't calling his hit. So I thought, how can I get around that corner without being shot? Um, let's you know, throw him off. So I pretended there was a grenade. So that I completely throw them off. Then when there's no bang, they're like, what the fuck? And then I just come around the corner, light them up. They've got no chance, right? Because it's a decoy. Completely bamboozled, mate. <clears throat> okay. So what you saw then, is something I do very regularly. Um, when I'm really, when I don't feel safe, okay, you can't just, when you don't feel safe, just pine at one level isn't going to do, in my opinion, right? So... When I was in a corridor then, you could see that I was pying high, but I just didn't feel safe, so I came low, and that's called high-low. I'm changing my firing position, and I'm getting an angle where they least expect you, because if there's, if there's enemy waiting for you, right, because we're in like an echoey tunnel there, if there's enemy waiting for you, they're going to just be aiming at general body-to-head height, right? You just can't help it. You walk a certain way, you aim your rifle at a certain height. So if I'm pying low like that, I'm at such an unexpected angle that if there is someone there, I'm going to get the jump on them, and that's the reason why I was doing that. See, getting lower again. Unexpected angles. It's an angles game, boys and girls. It's an angles game. Also, guys, if any of you play Gears of War, 
that game, the, the, the fundamentals, the, the base layer of that game is literally what Airsoft is about, like cover. If you can manipulate cover to, you, to your advantage, you're going to win. Like when that guy there with the pistol was shooting around the corner, and you see how I backed off? I backed off, so I'm, all, I'm constantly using cover, I'm constantly trying to stay safe, and then when I feel like I've got the advice to come around the corner, I'll engage, as soon as it comes back around, I'll stay back in cover, that way, you know, 9 times out of 10 you're safe, and you should just use that for wherever you go in, just stay, when you, when you go into a room, go to the corner of the room, pie out the room, you know, you've got a wall to your back, that's one, that's one side of the room that's clear, do you know what I mean, because it's, it's the threats, the wall, which ain't gonna do shit, do you know what I mean, so... Okay guys, so so here, the enemy has spotted me first, so how I was, I think this is army training, is, you know, RTR, retaliate, as soon as you've been put under pressure, you need to be as aggressive as possible, so if they get the jump on you and you've not been hit, you need to retaliate as quickly as you can with the most firepower, right, and so that's like, obviously, you can't move without suppressing, right, no movement without fire, yeah, and that's how that translates into airsoft, if you're not the aggressor and you're retaliating, you need to retaliate with more aggression than what you received, right, and then make a move, then make a plan, which you'll see now. High low, that's called high low, so I was shooting from, I was shooting from the top, Enemy has got in his mind now, right, he's at the top. So what have I done? I've come low, got in an awkward angle because when he comes right on the corner, his reticle is going to be aiming where I was, but I'm not there anymore, right? So the little power of high-low, guys. High-low. Right, suppress the corner. Aggressive, 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 aggressive. Move. Now think of a new plan, right? I've got, out, I've got myself out of that sticky situation. Now go for a flank, which is just standard army tactics, you know, if you can't go through them, go around them, right? And they don't expect, they don't see it coming. Look how bright that torch is. The Warrior X, mate. It's a big torch. <coughs> big. Can you see this, guys? See this? See that then? That was, an ang that was again an angles game. That's there's two different types of pieing, right? If there's just, if there's just one angle that you're looking at, you pie round it, yeah. You pie round it, but you can't really pie like bottlenecks type tight positions. So what? That's like a slow pie. I was doing then. I was coming round it very slowly because there's not really much angle for me to pie the other way, right? Change arms, come round it very slowly. So there's two types of pies. When I'm being sneaky. When, I, when I'm being sneaky, I don't pie like that. When I'm being sneaky, it's like a really slow pie, and my eyes is just dead center on that angle, and whoever shoots first is gonna win, right? And the other pie is when, I don't know if there's enemy threat there or not, potentially, and I'm like, in and out. Are they there? In and out. Okay, didn't see them. Clean the room. Clean the room. And that's, that's that. <laughs> Two different types of pie, yeah? Cool. Yeah, that means enemy, friendly, and then there's general directions, aren't they? There you go, Luke. Again, pine it. Super, super crucial skill, guys. Now, this is a little technique I like to use. When I get the jump, just a couple of rounds, because you want to minimise your noise, right? You don't want to let the whole enemy team know where you are by unloading on them. I probably could have knifed them. That would have been really cool. That would have been really cool. But, um, yeah... Right, next room. Really weary, guys. You have to... I call it data. We'll talk about that now, actually. So, I, I don't know if this is the real term for it, but my term for it, what I call it, is data collecting, right? So, you're in a 360 battle space. I'm in enemy territory here. Like, I don't know how many enemy enemy there are, where they are. Um, so, you have to be like, you know, like I'm on a fucking, like, spider sense, mate. Like, you, you're, you're tapped into the matrix. You've got to be... When you're walking around, you've got to be thinking the potential enemy there, how many, what are the corners, what, they, what are the corners, what are the angles looking like. And that's what I'm doing here now. Right now in my head, I'm thinking of where the potential enemies could be, listening to the voices, how many people are there, right? So that's what's going on. Every potential threat I'm looking at. I think Kicking Mustang has finally had enough as well. So 
So I'm on raised ground, completely out the way, and I've dazzled them with my light. There's just, you, you're not going to be able to defeat that. Because if they were going to re retaliate anyway, I'm not even on the same level as them. I've taken higher ground. So it's just... It's just trying to be as unpredictable as possible whilst being safe. Like, my, my entire right side of my body is in cover, right? I have now taken control of the bottom floor. I just need to keep it for as long as possible without dying. You have to be careful when you use your light, guys, because obviously it does give away your position. Okay, so this... This is... So, so you can see, um, we're in a battle now. Now I'm hitting the high low because he, he knew where I was originally, right? Okay, I'm not being suppressed. So I can push the corner. Can you see how I keep coming back? Every time he, every time he pushes me, I come back. And it's just like a game of cat and mouse, right? Realise that that strat's not going to work. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hit the flank again, right? Don't linger, guys. Make, make decisions quick. If that ain't going to work, what is going to work? Same strat again. Completely unpredictable. Higher ground. Guys, I will have a light on my pistol soon. I'm just waiting for Backcountry Workshop to send me the Kydex hol holster and we will have uh, some tactical light gameplays on the uh, pistol. I'm blue, I'm blue. I'm blue bro. Again, unpredictable ground with the pie. It's like it's pretty hard to play against. Look, Luke, that's my point exactly. His rifle was aiming at just standard player level. I'm like inside a windowsill, raised from the ground, right? And that's what you gotta do. You just gotta be unpredictable. Maybe learn how to shoot with both arms, slice the pie, and data collect. Better subscribe to Names Nico or else, and you better like it too. Or oh, why I order.